I know that SSB Matt usually tends to be the rush in and the uh, the guy that gets the brunt of the damage on the other team. And AX does absolutely does his fair share as well, but he, um, if you're going to call it anything, he is more of a stock tank uh, when he plays with his brother in Double Mario. Uh, let's see. Um, you two against Mario, it could give them a little bit of trouble in the air. Um, especially if uh, Wadi is good with the... Uh, the down throw forward air strings that we're so accustomed to thanks to LOF Blue. Um, and also uh, the uh, the whole flip thing that he does could, uh, you know, it's a, it's riskier, but it could uh, be thrown out as a mix up from uh, as a mix up from time to time. So we'll see where that uh, where that lands him. <laughs> and right now we're just debating stage. Oh no, actually SSB Matt was uh, doing something here because he's a little bit out of his chair. And so, it looks like... I don't know why SSB Madison is sitting down, but it looks like they have their stage picked. Yep, fist bumps all around, and here we go. Hopping into Final Destination. Wadi and Ice versus AEX and SSB Matt. Hopping right into it, because Matt was in the background. He was able to charge his Flood. And, uh... Not sure how that flood will do in doubles, but like in 2v1 situations, that can definitely help out because you can push uh, the other Mario and you can charge an up smash all day and just send him across the stage. Uh, but we'll see if he can get that all later on in the match because right now we have fairly even overall. Wadi is a little bit better, but again, the rushdown technique from Matt almost sends him out with the cape and just the constant pressure. You wouldn't expect that. Uh, Matt giving uh, uh, Mewtwo pressure on the ledge. Very nice from him. Ice sends AEX out, looking for a bouncing fish, but Wadi and his neutral air accidentally connects with it, stifling the bouncing fish's uh, main hitbox there. And that's the thing with the neutral air, so long- oh, and a very nice diamond cutter recognition, and he gets the second one! Very nice recognition and very nice diamond cutter throwouts from Ice, landing both KOs on AEX and Matt. Uh, what was I saying before all that just happened? Um, so long as Wadi can recognize when, um, the Marios are going to do that falling neutral just to, uh, break it in. And if he can get the, either that perfect shield or that regular shield, because it's not Luigi, he doesn't get the slide back, which I'm accustomed to. But, um, that'll definitely, uh, leave him open for a grab and, um, that, uh, down throw to forward air setup that I was talking about before. So let's see, we have a little bit of rolling back and forth here from the Mario Brothers. And he capes the Shadow Ball! Great awareness from Matt, I believe it was. <laughs> I was a little too distracted to notice color or tag there, but... Very nice awareness, throwing out that cape and claiming stock on Wadi. And right now, Sheik at 155, throwing out... Don't land on a Mario, guys! Do not land on Mario! That up smash is too dangerous! And uh, we're at two stocks all around, but yeah, the red team is suffering right now in uh, terms of percentages, because that was such a late stock in just terms of everybody else. Uh, they definitely have percentage lead, especially with that up air pressure, but he gets pushed back. AX throws out an up smash and will take out one on Wadi, and it is almost evened up here. That pressure again, the AX going in for a rushdown, but uh, gets a grab, trying to keep pressure, but he goes in with a toss. Wasn't sure what happening on the other side there, because I was a little too focused on Wadi. Back air almost sends out AX. Up smash connection will take out Matt, though. Very nice, uh, team awareness, because I think he got it off a dash attack from Ice, if I'm not mistaken. Ice keeping very nice pressure, just, uh, keeping very close in on AEX, keeping him pressure, but, uh, AEX is returning it right back. Gets a grab, and yeah, that up throw will leave him von very vulnerable, but it is, okay, they do force the share stock option, and she at 106. I'm not sure how that was reversed, uh, uh, so quick. It was a lot of great setups, uh, so these, t yeah, like, <laughs> we always joke how, uh, AX and Matt are, like, the brother team, so their synergy is, like, fantastic, but for them, uh, for Wadi and Ice to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them in terms of synergy right now is really, really awesome, and, uh, just, like, amazing things are happening left and right so much that I'm not being able to get it all! Gets the, uh, two-frame on, okay, well, okay, there's a lot to talk about, and it's just me back here, so <laughs> it's a little hard. But uh, that two-frame uh, slide uh, from Matt, I believe it was, 
uh, able to recognize that it sent him upward, and then the spike opportunity, uh, and he came through with it. Very nice from Matt. And uh, I believe it was AEX that had the final up smash. So uh, that will chalk up one for uh, AEX and SSB Matt. Um, let's see. There were a lot of setups. I don't know, because it was last stock option as well. I'm not sure what, like, as, as fast as they're getting into this game here, I'm not sure I can say anything uh, as fast as I can on what they can do in their, uh, change up their game, especially with me by myself back here. Again, a uh, little bit of pressure from Red in the beginning, but now Blue is finding their foothold. Alright, pushes out the Flood right there. Uh, right now, yeah, Matt and AX seeming to do a little more aerial gameplay, but that that's a little early to call that, actually, but... In terms of what they were doing before, they were waiting... Uh, they were actually waiting for the Blue team to fall on an up smash, but uh, because that... You know, they're aware that it's Mario, and uh, they know not to fall on Mario anymore. Uh, they're starting to play a little more aerial game. And an unfortunate up smash almost takes out his brother, AEX, there. Um, they gotta be careful. Oh, and again, the bounce on that, that slide, but Ice does recover. That is so dangerous. We've seen so many things, and the shield coming through for Ice. And uh, Matt's forward smash will take out AEX by mistake. Needles keeping pressure. Uh, that one of yeah, he was facing the wrong direction. He was on platform. If that did connect with that beefy hit, AX sends Wadi out, uh, but Ice responds right back, sending AX out. But they both find purchase back on stage. And a dunk from Matt, and uh, I want to say uh, up smash from AX. I wasn't looking on that one side. Again, I only have one pair of eyes here, but a very nice one-two stock take from AX and Matt. Let's see what uh, Wadi and Ice can do to respond here, because they are down 5-4, to four, even though uh, Red Team is hurting a little bit on terms of percentage. And just throw out that up smash, yeah, just to claim that one stock, to get things even. Very nice from Wadi. Back throw, and this platform should provide a little bit of benefit for actually both, so it kind of cancels out, but... I was going to say, uh, Ice could get a lot more uh, combo potential, because that's Sheik's gameplay. Uh, not... Not uh, high damage, but like in terms of just speed and rush down, she can get combos on you like nothing. And she's suffering a little bit in uh, terms of kill confirms, but you know, she can definitely do it with that bouncing fish off the side. It's a little circumstantial to get the character off the side like that, but if you're well practiced, and I would say Ice is definitely well practiced with uh, Sheik, you can get that bouncing fish kill off the side. But in terms of going against Mario, I'm not sure if. Uh, Either neutral or up air would actually combat that bouncing fish. Because I know it, it, it uh, the up air does send out a hurt box as well as a hit box. So. But uh, Ice gets, uh, I think, a back throw and another up smash will send uh, Wadi on his final stock. And uh, Ice is also on his own. But red team, you know, high percentages and especially with that up air. Very nice from Ice. Very nice from Ice. <laughs> another run. And, uh,. So long as they keep pressure on Matt, um, which is a little hard because, like I said before, he's the uh, one that actually rushes down a little bit more than, uh, you know, I. from what we've seen before, Matt does that, but AX is bringing a lot more rush down, in in, definitely in terms of playing these two characters. So, it's a little bit going against my word, but, I mean, like, go back and watch the other matchups and you'll definitely see, like, uh, AX holds on to stocks a lot more. AX gets the ledge trump. Not going to get the back air, though, because Ice had the platform to recover to. Max, Matt is trying it for his own. Ice gets a back air. Trying to go for the bouncing fish off the side, but he has to recover. Double up B. Almost in perfect synchro uh, synchronized there. And again, red team has control. Looking for this pressure. Uh, yeah, AX looking for the grab to easy back throw kill. And another cape from AX will even it up just like that. And, oh, actually, they did have another stock. I'm sorry. And, yeah, that waiting forward smash off that throw will give it to AX and SV Matt. They will go on 2-0, and they will advance to winner semis. Well, they will await the winner of, uh, actually, we are still waiting for that match as well. So, okay. <laughs> it's a little difficult for me back here by myself, uh, but they need somebody to comment, uh, commentate for doubles. And, uh, usually... 
I don't have it. Uh, I don't have enough money most of the time to go to doubles. I always try to get it in singles because that's where I want to get better in. But uh, you know, doubles is fun. I would like to do a lot more doubles with a lot more people, but they need commentators, so that's why I usually refrain and try to help out the stream here. Hey, double Mario is actually stupid though, Iota. What did you just say? <laughs> Yes, yes. El Magnifico Taco. They are abs they are some of our best players that aren't on the P 